Welcome back to the Wizards Forum 2023. I'm now joined by the actual strategy and policy coordinator for this whole event, Jitanjali Sa. I hope Hello, I got that right. Chris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. you've had to organize this whole event. Yes, uh, Chris, it was a tremendous uh, effort because there are different pieces uh, which are all coming together at the WISIS Forum. Uh, so we really enjoyed uh, curating the agenda and the program because we work with diverse stakeholders from all parts of the world. So it took us uh, around five month open consultative process to build the agenda and program. Uh, we work with uh, uh, universities, the private sector, civil society, technical community, of course the UN itself because the U it's a UN process which was uh, set early in 2003 and 2005 that provide us with a guideline of VISIS action lines, whether it be cybersecurity, whether it be ICT infrastructure, whether it is an enabling environment and so on and so forth. Difficult question probably, but if you had to point out to maybe a couple of highlights, what would they be for you? I think the key highlight is that um, all, all our stakeholders are really happy to be back uh, in a physical environment after COVID. So even though this uh, WISIS Forum is in a hybrid format, uh, uh, people, old friends are really happy to be with each other. Uh, so many partnerships have come out of this uh, WISIS Forum. Uh, I already heard of people, you know, already planning projects to be implemented as soon as they go home. So this is a great achievement. We had more than 1,500 uh, registered participants, uh, physical participants, several others joining us uh, virtually. Um, very, very good content on uh, space as enabler of sustainable development, uh, capacity building, reaching the last mile. Um, how do we all work together to build capacities of uh, uh, people to enhance the use of technology for their lives and their livelihoods? We are also planning on the WISIS plus 20, uh, so uh, our mandate is till 2025, and the future of WISIS beyond 2025. So you already saw how important the entire process is to stakeholders and to people all over the world. So what can we do as the UN to ensure that the process continues and is as impactful to them as it has been in the past? Fantastic, so a busy schedule ahead. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Chris.